over 15 choices of all you can eat Filipino foods, plus all you can drink coffee. This is like your ultimate breakfast buffet experience in LA County. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am out here in West Covina, which is really east in Los Angeles County, because I'm gonna be revisiting a restaurant I've been to in the past. Right here is Bistro Filipino. I came here for a lunch buffet last time, but I heard that they also have a pretty rockin' breakfast buffet. So if you guys wanna see a really bonafide Filipino breakfast buffet, then I encourage you, stick all the way to the end of this video because I'm gonna show you the entire spread here at one of the most popular Filipino restaurants you can find, especially in West Covina. And also, if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead. Do that right now, and in the meantime, I'm gonna be heading into this breakfast buffet because it is eight o'clock. I gotta get my breakfast. Let's go. Oh, let's check this out. Oh, ho. yes, there it is. There it is. So the breakfast buffet menu runs from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. So you gotta get here early in order to try this. So for $16.99, it looks like you can get about 15 or 16 amazing Filipino food choices. And plus they throw in free coffee. That's pretty enticing, isn't it? All right guys, this is Hera, the owner of Bistro Filipino. She's gonna go through the entire line to show us what's here for breakfast. Hi Steve, so this is our arroz caldo. Arroz caldo is actually sweet rice with um, chicken and cooked in um, ginger. So this is a Filipino comfort food for breakfast. Yeah, as you can see, uh, we have chicken over here. So it's just like a rice porridge with chicken and lots of ginger. Ginger is good for you. Yeah. And then this one is champorado. It's a Filipino version of champorado. Yeah, I know there's a Hispanic version of champorado, but our champorado is actually sweet rice in cocoa. It's really good. And of course, this is fried rice. As you know, this is fried garlic rice. Yeah. Okay, I've yes, had this garlic. many times. Yeah. So good. <laughs> and this is our pancit. It's called pancit gasado. It's actually glass noodle um, with um, vegetables, carrots, cabbage, celery, and also um, this one is with chicken. This one is um, soup. It's called um, tinola. Um, we actually eat this when it's rainy, um, um, rainy in the Philippines. So um, this is chicken cook in um, ginger soup. This is longanisa, it's our um, Filipino sausage. Yeah, it's like sorizo. So um, what is this? This is not ground pork. Um, this is actually made out of minced pork. Yeah, and then seasoned with pepper and um, yeah, vinegar and soy sauce inside. It's really nice, it's really good. This is beef tapa, this is our version of beef tapa. Um, this is actually beef sirloin, um, thinly sliced and marinated in soy sauce and vinegar and a little bit sweet, it's just like beef jerky. Yeah, so we make our own beef tapa. And this is tocino, um, this is pork. Um, this is um, a little bit sweet, yeah, but not too sweet. Yeah, um, so this is uh, thinly, thinly um, sliced pork as well. Um, there's vinegar in it, and then there's um, a little bit of sugar in it. Fried eggplant, yeah. Wow, looks so good. I know, yeah. Sun-dried um, herring fish, yeah, and um, salted herring fish, yeah, but it's, it's a little bit salty, actually, yeah. And then we have this um, fried eggs. This is called buro. It's actually a regional dish in the Philippines, and mm -hmm. this is um, steamed vegetables, local vegetables in the Philippines, and then um, you eat it with this um, fermented fish and rice, fried milk fish, yeah, boneless milk fish. Oh, boneless? Yeah, that's boneless, yeah. Okay. And these are our appetizers. We have this um, chicken skin, fried chicken skin. It's very crispy and crunchy. Yeah, it's very delicious too, um, very tasty. And this one is um, fried dillis. We call it fried dillis. This is actually, what it is is actually anchovy fish, and then um, with um, bread crumbs, and it's very crunchy as well. We eat this with uh, vinegar. We soak it with vinegar and we eat it. Yeah. So these are our condiments. We have the vinegar here for all of your um, appetizers this one? over there. This is a vinegar, uh -huh. and this is soy sauce with a little bit of vinegar. Yeah, seasoned. And then we have the patis. Patis is um, 
fish sauce and then we have lemon and then we have the shrimp paste over there yeah and then we also have like free coffee so we have um, like cream and sugar over here so Hera, I heard that you also have another restaurant kind of close by, is that right? Yes, right, yeah. Actually, we have the Euphoria Noi Pizza West Covina. It's just three miles away from here. Uh, it's by the Edwards Theater. So when you exit up 10 Freeway, exit at the Vincent, and you would see the Noi Pizza Bar and Grill. The line starts right here. This is where they lay out all the plates and the utensils. It looks so pretty. So you can just grab it and then head on over to Buffet. Steve, let's try the Champorado. Okay, Ooh. so yeah. So oh. This is how you eat the champorado. Oh, I never had it like this yeah, before. Yeah, you eat it with toyo. Um, you know why we like this? Because champorado is sweet, mm -hmm. and then the toyo, actually the dried herring fish, is salty. So sweet and salty. Oh, that's yeah. so awesome. And then we put the evaporated milk on top. Okay, I like there that. There you go. Yeah, it's complete. So com champorado with toyo. So FYI. Bistro Filipino is not just a buffet restaurant. They do have a pretty nice a la carte menu. They do catering as well. They got a lot of parties in here. So it's like multi-purpose. And also the buffet, not just breakfast. You could come here for a lunch buffet and dinner buffet, of course, for a different price. But I think you should definitely check out this breakfast buffet if you're into Filipino food, you're into breakfast, and you want something that's like cheap eats. I don't go to breakfast buffets that often because I don't eat so much for breakfast. So this is actually quite fun for me. How could you go wrong with garlic rice? This thing is so good. It's rice that has a strong garlic flavor. And this is one of the popular foods that you'll find in Filipino restaurants. But then pancit is also one of the very basic Filipino foods that you should know. It's like a very classic tasting pancit. Really good flavor, you know, very thin noodles as you can see. I think there's uh, chicken in here too. Yeah. Mm. So if you guys want all you can eat pancit for breakfast, this is a spot you gotta come check out. And in every Filipino buffet I've been to, they've always made the eggs like this. See how yolky it is? You gotta have your eggs, right? With your breakfast. But then if you want your sausages, this is kind of like an equivalent, the longanisa. They kind of call this their chorizo, but it tastes nothing like a chorizo. It's not spicy, it's not salty. Rather, it's sweet. Wow, I think I actually do like that longanisa better with the vinegar because now it's like sweet and sour at the same time. That is pretty cool. I don't think I've ever had it like that in a restaurant. So that's why if you're not sure, you can always ask Hera or the staff how exactly they eat the foods and they will point you in the right direction so that you can get the maximum flavor of everything. And one of my favorites, beef tapa. Here we go. This is actually one of the most unique tasting beef tapas because this one, because usually the beef tapas that I had were softer, a little bit more like eating a sweet brisket, I would say. So this one definitely has more of a bite to it. You know, almost like a beef jerky. Okay, kind of like their unique way of making it. That's awesome. Or maybe that might actually be the real Filipino way of making it. If you're more of a pork person, look at this tocino. Ooh, very nice. So it's like sweet, but then it adds like that vinegary flavor, which kind of takes it in a new direction. So there's still like more flavors going on. But this, I think, really is like a nice touch. Don't forget it. So with the eggplant, you know what you can do is take the soy sauce, which kind of has like a vinegary flavor from what I heard. I mean, even without that vinegary soy sauce, it would taste great because I love the taste of fried eggplant. But when you dip it in there, it really takes the flavor to the next level, like soy saucy, but then that really vibrant taste of the vinegar. Yeah, you should try it. Mm. 
I could seriously go all out with that eggplant. The champorado. So yes, it's not just a Mexican food. They have it at Filipino restaurants too. It tastes almost like a chocolate soup. I love it. Now I feel like I'm eating dessert. Like I've already jumped into dessert mode. Oh, it's really good, especially if you put that condensed milk over it. Now here's something I did not expect, but it's also a pro tip. So you could get this fish and you can uh, dip it. No, I'm just kidding. No. What you're supposed to do is just kind of eat it by itself because the fish is supposed to be salty and the sweetness of the champarado just balances the saltiness, I guess. Mm. Oh, that's right. It is pretty salty. You would need something like rice or perhaps your champarado just so that it can kind of tone down that saltiness. Well, let's try it. Yeah, I guess it works. I never would have thought of that combination, but once you drink this one, it's like all the saltiness just goes away. Ooh, looks so good. So um, let's try the appetizer. Yes, let's try that chicken skin. Yeah. Since so this is a buffet, round number two, right? And don't forget your coffee. All you can drink coffee, which comes with your cream and sugar. Mm. Yeah, I needed my morning coffee. Okay. Ooh, what about these little anchovies? I feel that this vinegar makes anything taste better. I mean, it's not to say that it tasted bad before that, but it just makes the food taste more exciting, I'd say. And I suppose you can also dip the chicken skin in there too. It wouldn't hurt, right? Wow, this is very crunchy too. But I like it because I like anything that's crunchy, anything fried like this, you know, chicken skin, chicharrones, all good with me. And I don't want to forget about my soup. I don't want this to turn cold, right? Whoa, that's actually better than I thought. I thought the soup was gonna be vinegary or like very salty, but this tastes like a very nice homestyle chicken soup. So I would say it's more gingery. There is a lot of ginger in here, so it's not sour. And it's so good on a day like this where it's you know, very cloudy. And did I mention how nice the music here is at this restaurant? It's very soothing, like it's classy, it's laid back. You really feel at ease when you're eating here. Now this rice is something that I've never had before in a Filipino restaurant. Let me sample a little bit of it. It's fermented. You know what it really tastes like is kimchi. You're supposed to eat it along with the veggies that are inside. Mmm. Because the vegetables itself has uh, more of like a very plain flavor. But then when you put the fermented rice on top of it and eat it together, it definitely gives it more of that sour taste. So my understanding is that the fermented rice and the veggies is actually a delicacy in this one city in the Philippines, uh, Papanga, Papanga. So that's why you gotta appreciate it because when you come here, you're gonna find a lot of very awesome Filipino foods that you're not gonna find in too many Filipino buffets. Oh, so here I see that there's another dessert that came out? Yeah, so this is um, ginataang mais. It's actually sweet rice with corn and jackfruit and in coconut milk. This is um, kamote kiu. Um, it's actually a um, sweet potato in caramelized sugar. Yeah, All right, should we get a banana too? Yeah. Why not? It's a buffet, let's get it. <laughs> I don't think you should expect to find too many desserts for breakfast buffets, but they do have some options here, such as the ginataang mais. Knockout. That tastes exactly the way it sounds. Coconut milk, it's creamy. There's rice in there, very soft. Jackfruit as well, so it is kind of fruity. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, such good flavor. I feel that even if this were an ice cream flavor, it would be pretty bomb. But then I cannot forget about my caramelized sweet potato, right? I love that brown sugar taste. So when you come here to this breakfast buffet, definitely get the beef tapa, get the chicken tinola. Soup was really awesome. I mean, even the eggplant, you can't go wrong with unless you really hate eggplant, but I really love it. But do you know what was really the surprise to me was the uh, champarado. This thing is one of the best champarados I've had in a Filipino restaurant. I heard customers come here sometimes even just to get this. You could do it a la carte. But yes, so it's here at Bistro Filipino, which has this breakfast buffet, but then they also have a lunch buffet and a dinner buffet. But I think the breakfast buffet is pretty cool. So yeah, come check it out. Make the drive here and check out one of the best tasting, affordable Filipino buffets that you can find in LA County. So guys, I convinced Tara to do something very special for you. So when you mention Rockstar Eater to either her or the staff, she's gonna do something very special for you. What is that? We're gonna give Rockstar Eaters 10% discount for breakfast and for lunch. Wow, yeah. look at that. So you have some <laughs> options, breakfast and lunch. So yes, come on over here and enjoy this amazing Filipino food here in West Covina. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next food adventure.